it's Monday and it's 7.30 a.m. And we are on our way up to, to Scotland to meet up with Will Atkinson for two days of filming. Um, tomorrow we are filming the video for Will's single with Gary Go called If I Spoke Your Language, absolutely huge track and the third single off Will's new album and then the next day we're going to film a very very special live stream from a very iconic location in Glasgow somewhere that the Scottish crowd will absolutely love This was always going to be an album about Scotland, about my love of Scotland and about the influences and inspirations the country's given me. From the Orkney sunsets to the hills of the highlands to the gritty, raw urban jungle that is Glasgow. When it came to shooting key videos for the album, I wanted to try and represent both sides of the coin. So a few days shooting up the stunning Loch Lomond and then into the city to film at Platform, the venue you and I used to know as The Arches, it seemed like the perfect plan. We're on the beach, just down there, right next to Loch Lomond. Day one of shooting the video for Will Atkinson's new single with Gary Go, If I Spoke Your Language. Been up here with our good friend Pavel, shooting loads of stuff with drones. And uh, look at this. Incredible. How do you think film is going today, Will? Well, so far you've asked me to get naked six times. That was only because I wanted you to go swimming, you know, and, and I think swimming in your clothes could really ruin could the rest ruin the, of your ruin day. Ruin the shirt. Yeah. 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 Epic scenery, though, eh? Epic scenery. Epic shirt. Epic times lie ahead. So we've shot loads of uh, footage next to the lake, next to the loch, Loch Lomond, and now we're searching for cool wooded sections to film in. Will wants a kind of woodland sequence, and we've just stopped by the side of the road, just right at the top of Loch Lomond and the north of Loch Lomond. We just spotted this little cool river or, or stream leading off into woodland so I'm just scouting ahead to go and have a look at it we've worked with Pavel and his wife Kinga a few times now and when it came to shooting this music video there was no one else better suited to the job they both have such positive energy vibe and their camera work and drone footage always breathtaking we had a great morning shooting on Loch Lomond in the surrounding woods and then an impromptu drive to Phallic Falls where I'd foolishly volunteered myself to jump 70 foot off the top of a waterfall to capture the peak moment of the video this was never in the script, but as the work ethos has been since the start of this album, it was all in or nothing, and I was all in. So we're just at the scene of the crime to be, um, assessing what will probably be quite substantially damaging to my skull. This is, I'm sure you can guess what, what we might be up to here. Something about, yeah, fumbling to my death, something like that. Just trying to come to terms with it right now. All the safety first, all aboard the safe bus. When we climbed to the top of the waterfall and looked down, I'm not ashamed to say I absolutely shat myself. It seems so much higher when you're standing at the top. Pavel and John were pretty uncomfortable about my choice of side for jumping off. A dubiously looking outcrop of rock that they were convinced was sticking out a good two and a half metres. A young guy we met whilst climbing to the top actually advised us, turn around, go back. He was an experienced jumper. Maybe I was taking this too far all for a split second, a moment. 
We studied videos on YouTube of people jumping off, trying to figure out the best area, technique, and then the sobering headlines and news articles, injuries, accidents, dare I say, even worse. We must have sat up there for about an hour, discussing, arguing, considering the consequences, all for a moment, a climax, one slip, and I can confidently say I might not be here writing this. It was dodgy. It was fucking dangerous. But I'm the last king of Scotland. And this album, it's all or nothing. I knew I wouldn't sleep if I didn't jump. So I moved to the other side. The jump was higher, but the clearance wasn't so bad. I wouldn't say I'm a religious person, but for that split second, I put a ward into the big one upstairs. And I jumped. Watching it back, I'm glad I took the other side. Pavel and John were right about that rock. One foot wrong and it could have been lights out for Bill. We'll be cruising at an altitude of 30,000 feet and uh, I expect to touch down into JFK round about six o'clock. And if you'd like to adjust your watches, it's currently just after midnight. After a day and a half of shooting in the serene surroundings of Lot Lomond, I was up early the next morning to head to Glasgow to film my ultimate live stream from Platform, or as you and I used to know it, The Arches. It's the train rumbling over the top. I fucking love that. <laughs> fucking flashbacks. All right, mate, you having a good night? Who's on next? Who's on next? Many a jacket. I've not come back from that courtroom. Tell you that. And then we go for a pit stop. <sighs> Fucking hell, it's all coming back. Being it chucked out of that toilet, pulled out through security, dragged out the club and kicked out. It was my night over. Alright, mate. You go back in, you hear the. <laughs> Main arch. And all her beauty. And this is where it happened. Boom. Main arch. And over there we have the old smoking area. Many a boozy snout had in there. Many a heart to heart. Many an after party agreed, finalised within this little court here. <laughs> Jesus. To get back here one more time. One more night. One more rave in the arches. How y'all doing folks? This is Will Atkinson and you are not going to believe where we are seated right now. What a feeling to be back in this institute. It was just an absolute church for dance music, um, a place of mecca for it. All clubbers of all ages um, before its closure back in 2013 I want to say. Um, and here we are back about to record a set to yeah, essentially launch my artist album, Last King of Scotland. They've granted us a one-off access. This has been going back and forth for months uh, since the start of 2020 and we've now finalised it. We've got the date. It's, today is the day. The second we walked in here, the feeling changed. I could feel some sort of energy pulling me back 10, 15 yards. You know, um, I could almost feel the bass reverberating, people shouting. Actually, the first track I ever listened to when I came into the Arches was a remix of my track called Enough Is Enough, the Mac and Taylor remix. And that is the first track that I remember hearing when I walked into these holy walls from the Midland Street entrance. I'm absolutely blown away to be finally back inside these walls. I couldn't think of a more suitable place to launch the album. And if we can't do it with people there, then we'll do it without. But this, yeah, it doesn't get any better than this. We're about to bring back the noise. So we are pretty much good to go. Uh, T minus probably 20 minutes. Guys are just uh, finalizing some of the lighting positions, sound check make sure it's all pumping through and then we're gonna yeah hit the hit the big red button feeling pumped um 
John and Greg have rightly so gone away to get us some sandwiches, so it's good to see them doing some work. Um, we're doing nice of them to help with the cables, but that's fine. They're both sitting over there drinking coffee and stuff, but that's fine. It feels amazing to be in here once again in a musical aspect, ready to effectively launch my debut artist album. So stay tuned. This is Will Atkinson in previously known as The Arches. I'm about to make a bit of noise. Here's Hank. Well, I listened to your album in the car on the way up here, and I've got to say, I think you've excelled yourself. Mhm. Mm yourself. 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 Yourself.